do your dance, do your dance, do your dance. Alright, enough of the foolishness. So, Tama <laughs> third party has Tamashi on the ropes, right? Right? Uh, I wouldn't say all that. And here's why. I know a lot of people are like, yo, third party is actually listening to the fans and Tamashi Nation doesn't know what they're doing. They're leaving money on the table. Things of this nature. I've, I've read the comments on Instagram. I've read the comments on my own videos. And I'm just, you know, just watching the community from afar under my rock with binoculars. And I have to say, as much as I love third party, they really don't have Tamashi on the ropes at all. Now, if you said like Revel Tech, if one of these third parties was like, I don't know, Revel Tech or something, or if it was like an actual uh, company that had an official license, then we could start to talk about Kamashi being on the ropes. But until then, third party will never have them on the ropes simply for the fact that they're third party. They don't have the official license. If Kamashi Nations wants to Hakai one of these companies or all of them, if they just want to send a cease and desist letter to all of them at at the same time, that's it. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like Beerus versus some humans. Hakai, Hakai, Hakai. It's Hakai the whole planet. You feel me? In fact, uh, what you call it? third party having Tamashi on the ropes to give y'all more visual representation of how I see it. Remember that? Remember in Dragon Ball Super where they went to the future for the first time to fight Goku Black? Vegeta went up first. He was throwing them at Goku Black. He was punching Goku Black, throwing, throwing mad haymakers and everything, right? And then we see Goku Black smirk. He has an eye open. That's Tamashi. Tamashi's Goku Black in that situation. Third party think they doing something, but ultimately all these fans think that third party is doing something, and they are. Let me not take away right third party is doing the damn thing like beast deities um de demonical fit as much as i get on them they they do their thing um black hole toys tarts and art toys all these companies are doing their thing and of course the companies that just do head sculpts uh dcg air studio you know these newer guys um hm studio oc toys which is now going to move on to full figures with that vegeto stuff right all of that is very nice, but Tamashi got him in two in two places. One, as somebody, I did a discussion video on this earlier uh, this week, or like some what, two or three days ago, ago now. A lot of third party does I admittedly do like the same characters, right? Maybe different variations, maybe based off of even different art styles, but it's more or less the same characters. We're now of course branching out a little bit with uh broly from beast deity and you know kid boo and i guess you could count trunks because that's just a trunks that a variation of trunks that people love a lot and kid boo is just a character that people want to get to but even at the, we gotta remember at the end of the day also a lot of third parties just using the same uh you know molds as tamashi they have to rely on tamashi to give them something that they feel is worth using in terms of a updated mold, right? It wasn't necessarily going to be a 3.0. Like, it's not. It's not like, for example, before Tamashi moved to the 3.0 molds, it's not like third party was already engineering their own 3.0 mold. You know, there's no necessary initiative to keep on pushing the envelope and you know pass 3.0. Like, hey. Like, for example, Beast Deity is a Kong studio saying, hey, here's our 4.0 mode right here. Take that, Tamashi. There's nothing like that really happening. There might be stuff where, like, adjustments and, you know, improvements are made upon the 3.0, which I guess one could look at as, depending on how significant the adjustments are, you could look at that as a 4.0, but really, they just, they wait, they waiting to see what Tamashi going to do, you know? In fact, you know, a good... A good example of that is none other than Demonical Fit. I remember when they first announced their uh, Unexpected Adventure, Goku, which is basically Adult GT Goku, and I was like, who asked for this? Like, where's Future Gohan at? And that's, what, <laughs> once again, that's a, that's a meme at this point. We're still waiting for that figure till this very day, which 
honestly guys i don't think we're gonna get that future go on until we get an official release from tamashi and then i think demonical fit will probably just take that reuse it maybe give it some more accessories and whatnot and then that'll be your future go on i think that's what's going to happen at this point but i digress from that they showed off that unexpected adventure goku right and i was like who asked for that right and then like a couple months later guess what was officially revealed kid et goku and i was like what are the odds that demonical fit had no type of inkling or hinting at um, adult GT Goku being promised and then all of a sudden they was like all right here we're putting this out why would they do that because they already had some type of inside info and that's my theory at least you know nothing none of that is officially confirmed but it makes too much sense to me um so until like third party really starts to innovate um then we could start to maybe even have that conversation but really even then if they end up innovate too much and they see a little bit too much tamashi will either do one or two things put the kibosh on them which even though i said that as like a you know that's something that tamashi could do tamashi hasn't done that strangely and i think funny enough my good man me and my good man sayoris would talk about this and he's like yo i'm not don't be surprised if you know Tamashi's actually watching third party just to see how stuff performs like this kid boo figure don't be surprised if you see elements from this kid boo figure implemented into their kid boo figure whenever like what six years from now whenever we get to the boo saga stuff and yeah it could be that long it really could be that long and I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news it really could be that long um but don't be surprised if you see certain stuff that looks familiar from third party um everybody's taken from everybody um, ultimately the fans win in terms of you know when everybody's taking from everybody that you know that means that everybody is you know innovating they might tweak some things here and there but seriously um i say all this to say third party don't got tamashi on the ropes it's just more of like a, i'm just letting you do what you do y'all can be the testing ground in fact i had <laughs> i haven't talked about this conspiracy in a while but i wouldn't be surprised if Tamashi straight up just got like certain connections and they getting paid under the table. This is my conspiracy now. Oh wait, this could be a whole separate video. Hold up. Hmm. But yeah, for all intended purposes, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow Tamashi was getting paid under the table from, from some of these third parties. Not all of them, but some of them. And then some of them are just like literally just good testing grounds. We they can see the fans reactions to certain characters being made right they can see the reaction via beast d's hey oh they seem to like this dragon ball hero stuff a lot maybe we could pencil that in at a future date you know once we run out of movie characters to do maybe we'll start doing dragon ball hero stuff it's all in the docket it's all possible anything is possible remember guys remember this and now i'm just rambling Kui got released as a character as a figure the best queen we'll probably ever get in years and years and decades, maybe. If he can get released, pretty much any character can get released. You know? All that being said, there's been Bombastic Plastic. Stay fantastic. Have a blessed day. And I appreciate all the love and support.